Hi, I'm Mark, and I'm a developer advocate at Solace. Since AWS reInvent is right around the corner, I thought I'd take a few minutes to show you how to deploy a Solace Club Sub Plus messaging service into the public AWS cloud. So let me go ahead and share my screen and show you how to do it. So if you go to console.solace.cloud, you can either sign up for an account if you don't have one, or of course, log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and log into my account and at this point, I'm going to be dropped to the Solace Cloud landing page. Here I can choose whether I want to use different services in the event portal or set up my event, event streaming services. So in this case, I'm going to choose the cluster manager because I want to set up some new messaging services. And I'm going to go ahead and choose this plus button to add a new service. So keep in mind, we are creating a messaging service in our public cloud. If you would like to create one in your virtual private cloud or, in, or on your on-premise Kubernetes environment, those are also options. If you wanna do that, go ahead and click the question mark icon here and open a support ticket. We'll be in touch and, and work with you to deploy to your private environment. But in order to deploy to the public cloud, you can do that without having to interact with us at all. So come in here and choose your service type, enterprise or developer, choose the number of connections you want, the amount of messaging storage, choose your cloud. In this case, I'll use Amazon Web Services, of course, and choose a region. I'm in North America on the East Coast, so I'll go ahead and choose North Virginia, but you can choose the region that's most convenient for where your workloads are running. You can then name your service, so I'll do AWS reInvent Demo, and configure your connection options. So this is where you can choose which protocols you'd like to available, would like to be available, and you can also uh, customize the ports if you'd like. By default, we have all the secured ports available to you. Once you have that set up, you can go ahead and start the service. Now, starting the service will take a few minutes, so I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this, and once the service is up, I'll go ahead and show you how you can connect and how to quickly test the service out. Okay, our messaging service has now started up. So in order to connect, you can go ahead and choose the connect tab, and this will let you choose um, which protocol you'd like to connect with, or you can also, if you know what programming language you wanna use, start by choosing your language and then seeing what libraries are available to you. So once you choose a library, you can get your default username and password, um, as well as the connection information needed for that library. But if you just want to test the messaging service out immediately, you can go over to the Try Me tab. So this Try Me tab is actually running a publisher and subscriber in your local browser. So by clicking Connect, I'm connecting a subscriber um, from my browser out to the messaging service that is now running in AWS. So I'll go ahead and subscribe to the Try Me topic. And then I'll connect to my publisher and publish to the Try Me topic. topic. So I'll say, hello world, how about Hello, AWS, running that. And so if I publish that, it's actually published out to the broker in AWS and then received um, on the subscriber side. So you can see we received hello, AWS reInvent. So hopefully you saw just how simple it is to deploy a messaging service to the AWS public cloud. Um, let us know if you have any questions in the Solace community at solace.community, or of course, sign up to start your Solace Cloud account at console.solace.cloud. Thanks and have a great day.